What's going on guys, welcome to this video which is the first video from my free Easy Finger Style course which is a 12 video course teaching 12 simple melodies to get you started with finger style guitar. This course is for people who have either very little interest in strumming and don't like to use a pick and want to start to play the strings with their fingers and start playing melodies on guitar, not just chords. You can watch all 12 videos from this course right now for free on the new Andy Guitar app, which is currently available on the Google Play Store. Uh, it works on all Android devices and we'll be getting the iOS version out in a couple of weeks. It will be coming real soon and the app and this course will be totally free on iOS and Google Play. We're going to start off slow and steady with this first video, but this is entirely intentional. This video is for people who maybe struggle to hold down chords at all on guitar, still having a lot of pain on your fingertips. If that is you, this video is ideal for you. We're also going to be covering a little bit of how to read music and then starting very simple in this video, but really stepping up the level of difficulty between each video so that by video 12, you really feel confident with the instrument and then you can go on to do whatever else you may want to do because of the confidence you've built with these videos. This was filmed a few months ago, so I will look a little bit different, but uh, let's get started now now and let's look at video one. Hot cross buns, this is a super simple melody as I say, just one line on the tab that accompanies this course, but we're going to be covering all the principles of finger style and what I'd like us to do is begin with the third finger at the fourth fret on the thinnest string. Now when we place this finger down, we want it to be at this side of the fret, not at this side, so that we don't have to press as hard down, and also so it rings out every time, because if we're at this side of the fret, and we don't press down hard enough, it, it doesn't always ring out. Also a lot of acoustic guitars, especially beginner ones, cheaper ones, can have much higher action and can have uh, basically the strings are very high off the fretboard which makes everything that we do in this course harder because we need single strings to ring out but we're going to get this one ringing out and then we need our first finger to go at the second fret also on the first string on the thinnest string and then the final note is going to be the open E string So we're only playing the one string and therefore it doesn't really matter what uh, fingers that we use at this time, though I'd recommend using our middle finger just because of what's going to happen in bar 3 basically. So we have played the 4th fret, so that looks like a number 4 on the tab, and then 2nd fret which is a number 2 on the tab, and then 0. Playing each of those with the middle finger and that covers bars one and two on the tab that accompanies this video. Now in the tab that I write, I always make sure that it also has the rhythm symbols. So the first note here, that number four, that fourth fret, lasts a beat, and that is shown by this symbol, which is technically called a crotchet, and that means it lasts a beat. One. When we get to the second note, that also lasts a beat. And when they're written in tab, uh, we just have that stick, that line underneath it, indicating that it lasts a beat. The zero, the open string, that lasts two beats, which the technical symbol for that is this, but um, in the tab, that is indicated by the shorter line. And when we have rhythm and tab in, on the same stave, that is what it would look like. So we have four, two, zero, frets wise, but rhythm wise, that happens on beats one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And as we go through, I'll just point out anything new on the tab that I need to explain, but that is a little bit of background on, on that, so that we could just read the tab and play this exactly as I am doing it now. Bar three, we have those notes joined together. Now, if you've done my beginner's course, you'll recognize that as eighths, as eighth strumming perhaps, or an eighth rhythm, where um, we have them joined together, which means each note lasts half a beat. So this bar three would go like this. 
So that was the open string, so 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 2, 2, 2. And that is to a rhythm of 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. And then the final bar is just the same as the first one, 4, 2, 0. So hopefully that's helped you read the tab a little bit more and to, to use that to remind you of, of what we're playing here, which is, is really the best way to, to use tab along with videos as sort of a refresher, so you don't have to skip in the middle of a video to remind yourself what you were doing. Um, the other thing that I want to point out, even at this early stage, is that there are two ways to play these notes, even though it's, it's kind of super easy. This is just a great opportunity to do it. What you will see me do most likely most of the time throughout this course is have my thumb on top and playing the notes in this fashion with my fingers on an angle. That is more of a pop, a rock and even kind of a folk style and really sets us up just in case we're ever going to do any string bending. Okay, anytime we do this, a string bend, we need to support that bend and we need to have your finger on an angle. We're never going to bend a string in that same fashion that I've just demoed when my fingers are in this, this position like this. However, this position can be good for some stretches and is considered to be more the, the classical style and, and a more sort of traditional style of finger style guitar. My thumb therefore is right in the middle of the fretboard at, at the back and my fingers are horizontal to the frets. Again at this side of the fret, most beginners are going to really struggle with that method and you're going to find it a lot easier and have a lot more success if we're using uh, and playing the notes in this fashion, especially on many beginner acoustic guitars which can be a little bit chunkier and have bigger necks. This is going to really work for you. But remember, this is strictly used either to be able to kind of stretch your, your fingers further along the, the fretboard, you know, all the way to fret five here, without that sort of big gap in your fingers that, that this happens, so, so to do this, but also will help with, with string bending. As I say, that position is great for string bending. I encourage this, we're gonna do a lot of songs that either end or are in the key of C, and we've got our fingers on this angle like this, but this is also very useful. In an ideal world, get used to using both, but at this early stage, just go for whichever one is comfortable. Let's just have a refresher now. The uh, first bar, just one more time, was like this, and the, uh, the quicker bar three was one and two and, and finishing here. Let's just do that together a couple more times, and that will be the end of this first lesson. In one, two, three, four. So hopefully that's something that you can do, but uh, the real thing that I want to, you to pay attention to once you've learned the notes is making sure there are no spaces, no gaps uh, between each of the notes, especially on the quicker section, because this is how you're going to be able to play those quicker sections that happen later in this course especially, but also here, this bit. Don't keep your finger on the string not like this, we're just flicking it out, okay? And uh, it will sound a lot better and a lot sweeter if we can keep your thumb ahead of the uh, strings like this, rather than sort of being a thumbs up and again like this, which can lead to a scratchy sound or, or um, not picking the, the strings correctly. We want your thumb to be like on the side like this and plucking into the hand. Like that, try and apply those couple of things when we go through this now for the final time in one, two, three, four. And that is how to play our first super simple melody. Um, that used 
three notes out of the E major scale. So the open E, second and fourth is the first three notes of this major scale. Most of the other songs in this course are going to use the C major scale that is taught at level five of my beginners course and that lesson is totally for free at andyguitar.co.uk Highly recommend that you check it out because we're going to be using it in this next video where we're going to learn how to play probably the most recognisable song of all time, Happy Birthday. I hope you'll join me for that one. There we are guys, I hope that's something that you enjoyed. Remember you can watch all this series and download every video for free and get the tab on the free to download Andy Guitar app available on Google Play now and it will be available on the App Store very soon, hopefully within a couple of weeks. And uh, thank you so much for the support, thank you for so much great feedback so far on the app. More great things to come, more free courses to come and uh, yeah, very excited, looking forward to bringing it to you.